Welcome to WebLogic Admin Course. In this session, we are going to learn about the domain basics. There are multiple types of domains. We can prepare and build development domains, production domains. Using one domain, you can create another that is called template. WebLogic domains. In this course, we are going to learn about what is WebLogic domain, how it is going to work, what are the servers you are going to involve in the domain admin server and manage servers how to start that weblogic domain admin console weblogic directory structure once you have created the domain then you are going to start the servers and stop the weblogic servers what is weblogic domain weblogic domain is a collection of weblogic server instances weblogic admin server manage servers together forming weblogic domain domain is a basic administrative unit and where you are going to have every every component is a part where only one administration server is going to be running and zero or more managed servers can be part of the domain single installation can be used for multiple weblogic domains. A weblogic domain can be spread across multiple machines that is required in most of the production environments. Weblogic domain can be deployed in two different formats. One is for the development environment where you have one machine and multiple weblogic domains can be configured and assigned to multiple developers. The second scenario where many machines involved in the weblogic domain many machines many installations weblogic installations the domain will be spread across all the machines and each machine can run multiple weblogic managed servers domain startup modes there are two different options we have development mode and production mode this is a this is the most important question for the interview development domain that is going to have a lock and edit button will be in hidden not going to be visible in production we are going to have in development mode there is only limited number of users so less number of database connections the database in development domain you are going to use only demo certificates it doesn't require real certificates in development domain you can run the node manager based on the SSL in development domain you can deploy the domain uh, application automatically deploying you don't need to deploy the application it is auto deploy any changes developer is going to do and it will be reflected immediately after three seconds 500 KB log will be generated for the development domain because the less number of users accessing that uh, domain the boot identity the user password will be automatically generated because uh, administration is not really required when you are working on the development environment it is only for developers in production there is concurrent users definitely we need a lock and edit one person modifying something configurations then other person should not interfere or disturb that 25 connections is default value for the database connections compulsory you have to use cert certifying authority provided certificates in production domain node manager can be used as plain if you don't have SSL no auto deploy is allowed in the production domain 5000 MB is a log file size default size no boot identity will be generated in production domains single node domain you are going to have weblogic installed using different options either you can use config.sh or you can use wlst or you can use pack some domain and unpack in another then that is also works good and creates a new domain so these are the different options to deploy a new domain for the development environment or single node domain so within the domain you are going to have the configuration 
JDBC, JMS, Applications, Security. You can also deploy the WebLogic domain which distributed across multiple machines, spread across multiple machines, clusters, group of managed servers which will serve high availability from the WebLogic domain. There are different varieties of topologies. The cluster is formed from the same machine. It is called vertical cluster. The cluster formed from the multiple machines then it is called horizontal cluster. The combination of these two same machine and multiple machines together forming a cluster then it is a hybrid cluster. In most of the production environments high availability can be provided based on the high horizontal cluster and hybrid clusters. When you are configuring WebLogic domain it is going to provide you choice of creating the servers. By default single node domain if you are going to use for the developers you are going to use the admin server domain. Admin server is only one server running in the domain. It's a central point and it will behave like a managed server as well. It controls all the domain configurations. Admin server in the domain have only one only one we can have in the weblogic domain. Admin server cannot be part of cluster. In the managed server side, managed servers, multiple managed servers you can configure and run. They works like a slave. Multiple managed servers can be there in the domain. They can be part of the cluster. Each configurations from the admin server, these managed servers will be fetching the information. Managed servers are going to have group of managed servers forming cluster. Managed servers runs on MSI mode, managed server independence mode. Before going to the admin console, let's deploy one weblogic domain. Let's go to the browser. In the browser, open this weblogic 12c essentials and in the search box type three ways enough. You can just search for three way weblogic domain creation procedures there are three options configuration wizard config.sh using pack and unpack and third one is wlst so let us go for the wlst option here i have the wlst script i can just copy the script from here and i will create create domain.py and pasting that script which is readily available wlst create domain.py hit it then it will a uh, little bit time to launch the wlst shell please enter the admin server name demo admin listen address 192.168.33.102 this is a box virtual box where we are running and the Port number, default port number 7001, admin user, web logic, password, you can give anything, and path where you want to create the domain, use the one app. Oracle domains the domain name demo underscore domain that's done so let's see what it contains in the domain right demo domain is created now demo domain in this one you are going to see the uh, start script start weblogic dot sh that will bring up your weblogic server and this domain is development domain the production mode is disabled you can see the last line where it is showing that server is in running state and it is listening at what IP address and you can see 
what type of running mode it is it is development mode running all right let's see this is accessible from my browser you need to add append console world at the end then it is going to launch the console application the username web logic and then welcome one is a password for testing and development purpose if you create any domain always save first time that would be best it will save a lot of time for you this is the web logic domain this web logic there are some parts of the domain console is going to have the change center the change center is useful for viewing changes undo all changes dynamically there are some changes domain structure you can find uh, console is online console errors anything some configurations goes wrong then you can see that system status it is up and running the managed servers are up and running work area there are uh, some things we are going to configure you are going to delete you are going to add services like servers or uh, clusters etc then wherever you navigate it that will be captured and it is going to display in the breadcrumbs ribbon area where you can log in and you can see the logout wlst recording option you can also see who is user accessing this domain let us see all of them are visible here yes it is available the top left corner you are going to see change center domain structure that is going to describe about the demo domain and then you are going to have the help then you are going to have the system status how many servers you are having what is the status everything looks okay then failed and uh, the critical nothing zero so this is work area this home page what we are seeing this is a work area where you can create configure uh, new services new configurations and top you are going to have the ribbon area home logout preferences recording of the wlst scripts you can do and you can also look for help once you have created the domain the domain directory structure looks like this it is going to have a domain name the directory auto deploy will be available for the development domain bin directory for start and stop the servers configuration will be containing config.xml where it, you are going to have deployments and other stuff configuration archive some changes are happening then it is going to maintain archive console extensions if you want to use administration console extensions you can use libraries you can include some jar files security where you are going to have username passwords just now we created web logic and use a password uh, welcome one this in stuff is going to be stored security folder servers directory contains all the servers admin servers manage servers names and then it is going to contain their log files inside that starting and uh, stopping of the servers very simple we have just seen that start weblogic.sh will be available in the domain bin directory from there you can start and you can also stop the server using the stop weblogic.sh or cmd file you can successfully start you can uh, once you are started you are going to see running we have just seen that and once the server is up and running you can create new managed servers and other stuff from the administration console we'll see that in la later next sessions once you are going to create that managed server you can start the server using start manage weblogic.sh and you need to provide the managed server name and then admin url you have to provide boot identity this will be probably required for the production environment you can create and you can store in admin server and managed servers directories there is a very special trick where you can write a wrapper script and you can use it why we should use this wrapper script i'll just i'll let you know if i'm going to say here control c or close this terminal that server is stopped automatically so you don't want to make this stop then you can write a wrapper script how to write is clips and follow that this is a page where you can have the wrapper scripts simple wrapper script available for admin server just copy that admin server's wrapper script and use web logic admin console components we have just seen that please follow us subscribe to youtube channel and plus in google also visit vibhavatechnologies.com thank you